Hi, my name is Eduardo Lina, and here's a short clip on my presentation at Itai in Haifa. I'm using Google Slides to present it. My presentation was on Moodle as a huge digital book. So, how do you turn a Moodle course into a digital book? Well, first of all, you have to take action to change this scenario. The Ministry of Education is going Moodle and I'm crazy about Moodle, so I'm going to present this and also present a crazy proposal. First of all, why Moodle and why turning Moodle into a huge digital book? Because Moodle provides a different learning experience and you can get pupils to keep coming for more. I'm going to be talking about the added value of technology when using Moodle and I'm going to be talking about using Moodle Mashov because Mashov provides hundreds of schools in Israel with the Moodle platform for free. But why Moodle? Why digital books and why English teachers? Well, here's a very good example. And this video can explain what a good product, a good digital book is. And of course, there are other publishers in Israel that surely offer very good digital books too. Why English teachers? Because unfortunately, English teachers do not use Moodle even when they have the platform. And why English teachers? Because I believe that English teachers can be leaders in their schools. So let me go back to the idea of turning Moodle into a huge digital book. There are 12 rules of engagement presented in a session by Rob Howard, a very good one. And these are the things that, these are the points that Moodle can get, we can engage our pupils by using the platform. Moodle offers control over the digital content that we upload by means of the different resources and activities. Resources in Moodle are those things that allow you as a teacher to upload material, to present material, whereas activities are those things that allow you to interact with your students. And what's good about Moodle is that you can bring lots and lots of external tools, especially Google's, but also others. Let me just give you an example. If you have Google, a Gmail, for example, you also have Google Drive. And Google Drive offers you all these things and much more. You have these icons that are different apps that you can use. And of course, you can connect more apps into your drive. And look at the things that you get, mostly for free. So you can bring all that and much more into your Google platform to make it interesting. Now, what does Moodle allow you to do? Oh, very simple, all this. So you can also bring, as I said, different applications. Vocaroo will allow you to record yourself or your students and upload that into Moodle. And of course, you can have blogs and use Padlet, Vokey, etc. I've been using Moodle for the last few years at uh, Google, and I hope to be using it even more. And if you want to see some of the courses, for example, you may click on YouTube, Introducing Google's English Online Course on Moodle, something which I hope to be giving this year to my students. Here's uh, one example of how Moodle platform looks like and what you can do with it. This is the course that I am talking about. I, I'll show this yesterday when we met uh, in Haifa. Let me go to the course. Here it is. You see, I'm getting this ready because maybe I will be able to teach this at school this year. But the same can be done with teachers. So as you see, I can upload videos on Moodle, show them to everybody. So ladies and gentlemen, at TED we talk a lot about leadership and how to make a movement. So let's watch a movement happen start to finish in under three minutes and dissect some lessons from it. First, of course you know, a leader needs the guts to stand out and be ridiculed. And you see I uploaded that video as a resource, but then on a forum I can have pupils comment either in writing or even recording themselves. Or you may have a Gloucester, for example. And here's an example of how I uploaded Gloucester as a pop-up. You see, 
This is a blockster that I prepared to introduce myself. Imagine your pupils and you teachers can do the same if you study Moodle. So this course at Kudal High School, which I hope to be giving online this year to five point students who may want to enroll in the course. I'm not sure about it yet. This is my crazy proposal as far as the school is concerned. Can be done also with teachers of English. Because you see, the Ministry of Education is going Moodle. This is my Moodle environment at Pisgah Holon. It's the same Moodle all over the country. And uh, last year, I taught several courses through Pisgah. So, why not have a course on Moodle using the Moodle platform of Pisgah Holon, for example, to which teachers of English all over the country could enroll. And I'm, I have in mind those teachers of English who have the possibility of accessing uh, a course in Mashov. And I hope that other other platforms also give that possibility to teachers of English. We teachers of English could be leaders in that with very little investment on the part of the Ministry of Education. So that's my crazy idea, the crazy idea that I uh, proposed. You want yesterday. to see what we have done? Well, please, do come in. We could then start a movement and be using, for example, the Moodle of Pisgah Holon to teach teachers of English everywhere in the country by means of an online course. Well, thank you for your time. This is what I did yesterday in Haifa. Goodbye.